So Jeffing, in the recent budget, yeah. um, the one thing people always kind of look for is what are they doing to help the property market because we know what the property market is right now. So one of the measures they announced, the one that got the most press, was about how they've lowered the buying threshold for, for foreign buyers from a million to 600,000. Criticism. Yeah. It looks like a bailout because the only people they seem to be helping is the property developers. You agree? You don't agree? Um. Personally, I don't think this is a bailout. I think, uh, yes, the government is trying to help the developers, mm. uh, but I think bailout is too strong a word. Okay, fair enough. But because it is a problem, right, this, this overhang. Mm. When you talk to the economists, what were they saying was the main issue about this, this overhang? I mean, like, what does it mean for the property market in, in general that this overhang has been here for, for, for quite so long? Mm -hmm. uh, I think... Uh, if you look at the property trend in Malaysia, uh, mm. the cooling measures by Bank Negara, um, I think started in 2013, 2014. So the slowdown has been there for five, six years. Yeah, yeah. And if you look at the property prices, uh, um, it's rather stagnant. Uh, mm. Some maybe drop a bit. Uh, but if you look at the prices increase, the property boom in the previous years, right, it has stopped. So in certain extent, I think the cooling measures has been successful. Mm. And now, uh, um, any developers suffering because of the overhang uh, issue, uh, basically overhang by definition means the property is launched but not sold, mm, it's mm. unsold for nine months. Mm. Uh, anything more than nine months is considered overhang. Right? Okay. So I think this overhang issue has been, you know, if you look at the numbers, right, overhang units have been increasing over the past uh, five, six years. So now the government is trying to uh, clear this uh, overhang issue. There's a metaphor you actually use at the beginning of the story about how it's like property, it's like uh, cars in gridlock, right? You could take a bulldozer, level all of it, but yeah. that hurts the cars and that hurts the people who owns the cars. And now this measure is like sort of plucking cars off the road one by one. But mm. I'm sure that the developers hear this criticism that if you wanted, didn't want an overhang, why did you like build so many properties in, in the first place? Did, did they, mm. Do they have an answer for that? Mm. I think to be fair to them, um, like I said, that pre in the, before 2014, there was this property boom, right? Yeah. So yes, on the hindsight, in the hindsight, we can say they mispriced. But at that point in time, maybe it makes sense. So what have been launched has already been launched. So I think now the government is trying to resolve the overhang issue. Okay. So yes, uh, of course, uh, from a new home buyer's perspective, we, uh, I mean, people always hope that uh, prices can go down a little bit lower so that I can buy cheaper houses, right? Yeah. But if you look at it from a broader perspective, mm. uh, property, any property crash or collapse, you know, can be wealth, is a wealth destruction for the existing home buyers. Mm. And I think nobody wants to see that to happen. And like some of the developers, they pointed out, um, their industry, yes, you can say, um, uh, yes, you, uh, the government is trying to rescue us kind of thing, but it actually involved more than 140 other industries, right? Uh, building materials, lawyers, even media, yeah. uh, architects, uh, yeah. construction companies. So if the developers is not doing well, all these other industries will be act affected as yeah. well. Okay. Yeah, okay. Un understood. It is an ecosystem. Mm. And in a way, nasi sudah jadi bubo already. Yeah. But yeah. here's the thing. Is it effective enough, this, this measure to lower the threshold? Mm -hmm. Because it's yeah. one thing to have it, but when you talk to the developers, did they say it was enough? Because before yeah. the budget, all they were talking about was RPGT, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, which yes. was tweaked, mm -hmm. but not I, in a way mm -hmm. I think they wanted to. Mm -hmm. I think when I spoke to uh, Reda President Song, mm. uh, he rightly pointed out that um, I mean he's not overly confident and and say you know overnight this all these eight point three billion mm. overhang units will be cleared, but I think uh, he's he's right he's right that to say that uh, something is always better than nothing. Fair right? enough. Like the analogy that we put in our story, uh, if you can, there, if there are ten cars in the road, if you can take out one or two, at least something you know the traffic can flow again. Okay. Uh, so. Um, again, one thing to point out is that uh, there's a, when it was first announced, right, all this criticism about um, developers will, be, will neglect the local buyers, I think uh, it's not true because uh, if you look at the overhang units, uh, it's more than nine months, right? If the local buyers are keen to buy or they can afford to buy, they will have bought it already. So these are the units that local buyers not interested to buy or cannot afford to buy anyway. Mm, mm, mm. So why, if you leave it like that, 
it's overhang, you know, conti- it will continue to like overhang on. So yeah, why understand. don't you open it up to the foreigners and oh. let's see how it goes. And of course, we were mentioning how some of these properties have actually been unsold since 1997, mm, mm, mm. which is... By definition. By yes. definition, yeah, yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. But yeah. one particular state, my state, mm. is a unique case is actually Johor because mm. a lot of their condos there are mm. actually meant for, for, foreign, for foreign buyers. Mm-hmm. So in this case, won't it help that state? Because we are talking about the effects, right? So mm-hmm. it differs, of course, from state to state to state. Mm-hmm. But Johor surely should benefit from this. Hopefully, because um, if you look at uh, what happened in uh, uh, Hong Kong and I mean, actually all around the world, many mm. people are talking about immigrating and all this. Mm. And uh, Southeast Asia is actually a good destination. People are looking at Singapore, people are looking at uh, some even, you know, Vietnam. So I think we are not the so-called preferred destination yet mm. for these uh, um, people who are looking for a second home. So mm. I think... Uh, Yes, if we lower the threshold, it can, you know, we can become more attractive. For more on the stories, pick up a copy of The Edge Weekly at all good newsstands.